Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I have brought you a new Pico tutorial on how you can program your Pico board without using the traditional method of unplugging and plugging it again with pressing the boot circuit. button. So let's take a look at it. Alright, so whenever we want to program our Pico, we remove the USB cable, press the boot cell button and connect it again. As you can see, the computer has detected the Pico. But when you have to do this hundreds of times, it becomes quite pathetic. So let me show you an alternative to it. I have created a reset button for myself. In order to program the Pico, now I don't have to unplug it. Let me show you. Let's first eject the Pico. Alright. What I will do is instead of plugging and unplugging it, I'll press the reset button, press the boot cell button and I'll remove the reset button. And you can see that it has detected my Pico. Alright, let me guide you to the setup. Take your Pico board. You will require three jumper pins and a momentary button or a push button. As you can see on the schematic that every third button from either side of the Pico board is a ground pin. You can choose any ground pin. Connect it to the negative part of the breadboard. Take your momentary button. Place it on the center of the breadboard. One side of the momentary button goes to the negative side of the breadboard. And as you can see, I have mounted the breadboard's bottom to the 21st row and the number goes like this 21, 22, 23. So the 30 number pin should come on 12th row. So we are going to connect the 30th pin to the other side of the momentary button. And the setup is done. It is given in the data sheet that pin number 30 or the run pin of RP2040 should be pulled now in order to reset the board. Alright, now it looks clean. Connect your Pico. Let's check if it's working. Press the momentary button, press the boot cell button, release the momentary button and it works. Alright. So that's it for this video guys, a big thanks to Google Apps for sharing this hack. Link in the description to their channel. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel as well for more tutorials. Until then see you, bye bye.